I want to ask you guys something because maybe you came here for information and I'm going to go right to you for information as well. So, you know, I get emails once every 20 minutes about people who want to be on this show. I don't know why. Maybe they're talking about a different show, like the guy who's talking about Gil. Maybe they're talking about a different show. Probably so. So this is something that they had sent me. This is JJM Alkaline Technologies, JJM Condensate Neutralizers. I have not really thought any about condensate neutralizers, but maybe you guys up north with condensing gas furnaces have thought about that. What I'm going to ask you guys is whether or not you actually want to learn more about this. If you want to learn more about this stuff, and maybe I'll do this on a routine basis when someone emails me, I'll ask you guys. If you want to learn more about it, just say yes in the chat or email me at hvacshoptalk at gmail.com or do whatever. You can put it in a comment after the show. Say, I would like to learn more about this stuff. If there's enough of us who are interested, Zach, we get them on, something like that. And I will have this person come on the show. Now, for those of you who don't know, I pulled up one of the instruction manuals for this thing. And uh, it says K-Series, inst Installation, Operation, and Maintenance. This is the model K300, K600, K1000, and K3000. And these are condensate neutralizers. Again, JJM Alkaline Technologies, if you want to look this stuff up. J-J-M-A-L-K-A-L-I-N-E-T-E-C-H.com. JJ Mal I'm not going through all that. You just have to write it out. <laughs> that ain't cool. So, I mean, just a picture of what they look like. It's just kind of like a cylinder with tubes on either ends. And it's supposed to just keep it so it won't rot out your floor. If you have like a metal floor grate and a condensing gas furnace, the acids in the condensate will eat up some of the stuff and it's bad for the environment. So this thing is supposedly there so it'll neutralize that. I guess since it's an acid, it's probably got little things inside that are bases and neutralize the acid. Uh, I did see this. This is a drawing. For those of you on a podcast, I'll try to describe this. It's a drawing of, it looks like a boiler or something like that. Maybe it's maybe they intend it to be just any furnace. Condensing appliance. That's what it's called. A, condensing appliance. So they have this thing down there, and it runs through this neutralizer as this lower drain line. It has some unions around it, I guess, so you can change it out or... Uh, change out the, I don't know if you change out the whole piece or you just add new a new base to it, like bases and acid and base. And then it has another condensate tube that goes over the top of it because I'm assuming these things clog up and it has to have a somewhere to go. When I looked at these things, some of them are filled with little pellets and it looks like that they would clog. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like they would clog. So that's uh, sort of what it's all about. Now, to me, this doesn't look that sexy. I wasn't fired up. I wasn't looking at this going, gosh, I need to know more about condensate neutralizers, but maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe it'll be something you guys are like, wow, Zach, I can't believe you passed up the condensate neutralizer guy. I'm never watching this show again. And I don't want that to happen, guys. I don't want that to happen. So there it is. Condensate neutralizer. Do you want to know about it? Do you want to learn about it? I'm here for you. If this is something that interests you, why not? <laughs> If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.